you know, you, you do and you did a lot of, you know, computer science things and, you know, program, programs and things like that. You think the universe works in, in the more, I don't, like, I don't want to say simulation, but... Uh, Computational. In, 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 oh, no, no, people have asked, actually, somebody asked me that question two days ago at a meeting. Really? Uh, you know, like, is, is the universe perhaps just a simulation? Right? Or like computation. And, yeah. well, I mean, I, I think it would be very hard to prove that that's not the case. Um, but, I, I, so, but I can tell you that it might even be in principle possible to figure out where, whether we are a simulation or not. And, and here's the reason, but I mean, this is just a wild guess. It would be complete garbage, but I'll, I'll go for it anyway. Um, if you believe quantum mechanics is correct, and since we were just talking of measurement theory, then actually anybody who's running a simulation would eventually probably want an answer from it, because otherwise why you're running, you know, why are you running a simulation? So to do that, you need to interact with the system. If the system is a quantum system, you are going to perturb that system. And this will actually manifest itself uh, as weird behavior of the system for entities that are part of that system. And so I think you would actually be able to tell if that were going on. Um, on the other hand, let's again take some variation of this. Maybe we're not a simulation, but maybe we're a high school experiment. <laughs> you know, somebody made <coughs> a black hole um, that, that, uh, you know, that they kept in some cage somewhere in the high school in right. some more advanced you know, place. Um, and, and they don't even realize that actually inside of that there is, you know, like a whole universe doing stuff. Because it turns out I think the density of our universe is not far off from the density of a black hole that would be about the diameter of a, a visible universe, you know, like 14 billion light years. So it's not completely crazy, you know, to think that something like this could be the case. But then, you know, this wouldn't be a simulation, right? They would have made it and maybe they wouldn't even have a way of interacting with the interior of whatever they made. And so then we could still be made, but we wouldn't be a, a you know, simulation in that case because nobody's ever expecting to get an outcome from doing this uh, you know, thing. Um, so be just like we, right? I mean, we, uh, you know, um, you could argue, for instance, that an artwork in a way is a simulation, right? Because if I paint something, it is a representation, perhaps even of a fairly literal reality, or perhaps more of a state of mind that's more abstract, right? And whatever it is, but it's a representation of something. In that sense, it is a model. In that sense, it is a simulation of something. But I would still, if, if you asked me, like, am I going to call paintings a simulation? And I would say no. I mean, art is an emergent phenomenon. has its own values and its own uh, reasons for doing it. And art is actually much more than a right. simulation, right? And so in that sense, I would also say, even if we are the creation of a high school kid in a <laughs> other level universe, you know, still, I, I, you know, uh, unless they are really doing this to get a computational result out of it, we're not a 